Hello, everybody. Welcome to OnlineEnglishTeacher.com. Uh, I am your instructor, Michael. Welcome. And today's class, I wanted to show you uh, an APA formatted paper. So this paper is actually already formatted. Um, it's a good example of an APA format. And I'll also be discussing the difference between APA and MLA. Okay, so let's get right into it. So something you notice right away with uh, MLA, we have this big one page title page here, right? With your name, school name, class name, assignment name. So for MLA, MLA, you don't have a title page. You don't have one separate page for your title page. Uh, only APA and other uh, similar citations, maybe like Chicago and et cetera, have very similar uh, title pages. But MLA has this. MLA is like this. Oops, not like that. So MLA is like this, All right? We have everything onto the left side, right? All the way to the top with your text right next to your, um, with your name, school name, class name, and assignment name or date would be a date right here, as well as a title, right? But with APA, we have a, what we call a title page, which is one page de uh, dedicated to almost professionally showing and demonstrating your name, your class, you know, an assignment name, right? And then the essay continues on the next page, on page two, right? This is actual, this is the introduction right here, right? This is the actual essay. And it continues on to page two, right? So something I want to notice about the title page is that we also have something called a running head, right? This is kind of to, to display the title of your project or your essay, right? So we have a writing, uh, running head and the title would be essay three, right? And then we have the page number still, just like in MLA, but in ML with APA, we don't have your last name on the header, right? Your last name doesn't exist here at all in the header. The thing that has changed is the running head. So for APA, we have the running head. For MLA, we have your last name with the header and page number. Right. So this is the uh, the title page, your name, school name, class name, assignment name. And then you go all the way down, spaced it until you make a brand new uh, page. And then that's when you start writing your essay. Very different from MLA. MLA. Another thing we can notice, too, is uh, uh, in-text citations or paraphrasing or summarization. So with MLA, we just have the author's name. We don't have the date. Sometimes you can put the, a page number, right? But usually we just have the author's name, right? But with APA, we have the person's last name, right? Person's last name, person, and then the year of when the article or the reading or the book or whatever source that you're using was published, right? So we have the year, so it's 2019. Right. And then as well as the person's last name. And but for MLA, you would also have the person's last name. But here we just have the last name and the year of when the article was published. Right. So let's look at another example. Right. We have Jackson. Right. The last name. And then the 2016. This is the year. Right. This is APA citation. And let's see one more. Uh, let's see. I know we have one more citation here. Uh, I don't see it. Okay. But we have Jackson again, right? Jackson year, right? Of the year of the publication. Something I also want to uh, explain too is that just like in MLA, each beginning of the paragraph is indented, right? Everything's indented. Uh, so MLA and APA have something similar where the the beginning of the paragraphs are indented. Another thing that I also want to cover too is that I see what a lot of students do when they're writing. They do it incorrectly. They often write like this. 
and this is incorrect, right? Because uh, when you make a paragraph, a paragraph should be roughly uh, five to eight sentences or even more, right? Depending on the topic, right? When you separate your essays apart, like this, like I had it previously. Oh, I'm trying to find another. There we go. When you do this, it makes it very unprofessional. It's really hard to read because it's all over the place. So it's very important to have your essays or your paragraphs. Yeah, have all your essays together to form a paragraph, right? Okay, so let's go to the references. So in MLA, we use Works Cited, right? We usually use Works Cited. But in APA, instead, we use references, right? So references and Works Cited are roughly the same thing. But your references represent the, uh, there are more academic, uh, uh, at a higher, quali a higher quality academically, right? Works Cited can almost be from any source, right? It doesn't have to be academic. It can be academic, but it typically it doesn't have to be a completely academic, right? You can have many different sources with your Works Cited page. It's very important to have academic uh, resources or references in your Works Cited page, as well as maybe non-academic uh, resources on your Works Cited page. But for your APA, every single reference should be academic. All of them have to be academic, right? They have to have, uh, it has to be from something that's uh, 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 professional, uh, uh, researched, and academically approved, right? And like this website, this is a, a very well-known well website that shows uh, uh, that this is an academic uh, link, and this is also academic uh, research as well. And lastly, something I want to point out is that just like with MLA, you have your uh, citations or your references in alphabetical order, like from A, B, C, D, E, F, G, right? So we have F, right, is first, then we have J, and then we have L, right? This is in alphabetical order, right? It would be incorrect to have this, oops, to have this up here because this is not in alphabetical order. We want to everything to go from A, B, C, D, E, F, G, right? In alphabetical order. Um, but let's say that a citation is not, does not have a last name, then you would do something different, right? You would actually put those at the end, right? Let's say that you're quoting an organization, right? Not a person. If you're quoting an organization, then you would have their, that organization at the end of your reference list, right? Okay, so that's pretty much what MLA, I mean, what APA is, right? It's very similar to MLA, but there are some slight differences, right? We have the title page, we have the running head, assignment name of the writing head, the page number, no last name, uh, you know, your essay starts on the second page. Uh, your citation has the last name and year of the publication of the article or reading or resource that you're using. As well as uh, we have references, right? And then th the way the references are structured are a little bit slightly different with how they're structured in MLA. But I'll be covering that in a future video because I don't think it would take too long to cover that in this video. So if you'd like to see more of this content, please like and comment and subscribe. I hope to see you guys soon and take care. Bye-bye.